You know, people that are struck with a serious illness <laughs> quickly realize that it's just not the healthcare bills that they have to worry about paying. It's all the other bills that come up too. When you're sick, you're not working probably too, so you have no income coming in. So how are you going to take care of daycare? You know, how are you going to take care of home care? Somebody's got to take care of the home. How are you going to get to the treatment? Say if you have cancer and you got to go chemotherapy and stuff like that, how are you going to get back and forth from that too? So all these kind of expenses, you know, they're nonprofit organizations can help with that. There's like, here's one, cancercare.org. You know, they help with things like this too. I mean, you get three, four, five thousand dollars or more to help with these kinds of incidental so-called expenses that can really mount up to a whole bunch of change. You know? And you're worried about not only getting healthy, but paying for the health care treatment, but these non-health care related expenses are really going to knock your socks off. So actually this cancercare.org uh, page is great and their services to fill out the form and get uh, financing from them for some of these other expenses. I mean, they have an income li limit, but it goes up to like $60,000 for a family. Yeah. So that's $60,000, you'll still be eligible for that kind of thing. But then plus, they have on their site is financial assistance sources. They have about 60, 70 other financial assistance sources. So these are people who did all the research for you <laughs> all over the web you know, to go out and get it in one place. So cancercare.org, you have cancer, know somebody has cancer, or even any kind of illness, because it'll help, help you show sources for other kind of illness and, and, and get some extra money for that. So pass this along to folks. You know, you may be healthy and everything, but everybody isn't. So it's a good site to know about.